Hello viewers, my name is Mr. Devanjo. I want to welcome you to another video on uh, Mathematics Olympia questions. So in this video, we are going to be solving another math another past question on uh, Mathematics Olympiad. So if you want to assess more questions on Mathematics Olympia, you may check the playlist on my channel containing the, all the uh past question we have solved so far on the mathematics olympiad so and uh, before we get it started if you have not subscribed to this channel please you can click on this subscribe button right now on the channel so that you will be notified whenever we post a video on this video uh whenever we post video on this channel rather pardon me for that and uh, you can also click the uh, bell so that you'll be notified whenever we post a video on this channel. So without wasting much of our time, let's see the question we want to solve in this video. Now the question is what you are seeing on the screen right now. That we have to solve the following system. We are having x raised to power 1 over 4 plus y raised to power 1 over 5 equals to 5. Then we are having <laughs> x is equal s raised to power 3 over 4 plus y raised to power 3 over 5 equals to 35 so we have to solve these two equations simultaneously now uh you may need to pause this video and try yourself if you can uh, solve it just try play around with it uh, before you now uh check or consider or confirm if you can if you can solve it or not so if you have done that and you cannot uh, solve it then let's solve it together one after the other so we are having these two equations to solve together simultaneously now you cannot solve it directly the, the way you solve uh, two linear simultaneous uh, two linear equations simultaneously you may not be able to do that with this now because it's quite uh, a little bit more complex than a two linear equation that you want to solve simultaneously then if you cannot do that then how do we solve this kind of question you can improvise you can see that uh, the difference between this power and this power here is uh, three as i mean the power here you have over four over four here you have one and three here so the it is the numerator the numerator of the uh, of the powers that are different also this and this as well you can see that uh, the, the the denominator are equal but the numerator are not equal so we can use that to solve the question what can we do we can call this uh s raised to power over 4 another variable and this y raised to power over 5 another variable and that's what we did in the next uh, slide you're going to see right now so we are, we are having the two equations and we call it equation one and equation two except from equation one this equation one here let's call s raised to power over four let's call it p if you call, if you call s raised to power over four p then that means you'll be having p is equal to s raised to power over four then we can uh, take the cube of both sides we can take the cube of both sides so if you take the cube, cube cube of p that will give us three a p cube and if you take cube of uh, s raised to power one over four then we know that according to the law of indices one over four will multiply this three so that means s raised to power three over four is what we are going to get so that means you have p cube equals to s raised to power one over s raised to power three over four which you can call another equation three also we can call y raised to power 1 over p let's call it q as well in from this equation one also so if q is equal to y raised to power 1 over 5 then we can also take the cube of both sides as well we want this to look like this then this also look like this so if you take cube of both sides here you have q cube equals to y raised to power 3 over 5 because this 3 want to plan 1 over 5 here so we have Q cube Q cube equals to y raised to power three over four. They can cut down equation four. So if you call what 
the with these two equation one and equation two reduced to what would they reduce to? Since we have already called this one P, we have already called this one Q. That means it will result to P plus Q equals to five. So we can call that one equation five. Then also here we got a P cube to be S K to power three over four. That we can replace this one to be P cube. And also we got Q cube equals to Y raised to power three over five. We can also call this one Q cube. And that means this equation two we also reduce to P cube plus T cube. P cube plus P cube plus Q cube equals to 35. So we can call that one equation six as well. Then from there we can solve further. Now we can uh, cube both sides of this equation five so that uh, we can resort to something like this. If I cube this, I cube this as well. Say from equation five, you can cube both sides. That means P plus Q cube equals to five cube. Then that means you are opening this bracket in three places. P plus Q into P plus Q into P plus Q equals to five cube is a 125. Then if you open these two brackets, you have P square plus two P Q plus Q Q squared. If you open these two brackets and collect like, like times, you have this. Then you have this bracket left. Then if you now use this bracket to open this bracket again and collect like times, you can do that on your own. P will multiply everything here. Q also will multiply everything here. Then and collect like times, you have PQ plus Q cube plus 3P square Q plus 3Q square P equals 125. So you may need to open this bracket yourself, open it one after the other, then collect like times. You see that uh, you have like line that you can have together to give us this. We have like line, like times you can have together to give us this as well. Then from there you can factorize PQ out, 3PQ rather from here. You can factorize 3PQ out. If you factorize that, you have 3PQ into P plus Q left here equals to 125. Then if you do that, we know that uh, from uh, here, of equation 5 and equation 6, our P plus Q is 5 and our PQ plus Q cube is called 35. So we have PQ plus Q cube here and we have uh, P plus Q here. So this one, you can replace this one by 35 and P plus Q is 5 as well. So that means this equation reduced to 35 plus 3 PQ into 5 equals to 125. Of course, 5 can multiply 3 that will give us 15 cube. So 35 plus 15 15 PQ equals to 125. Then from there also we can collect like times. That will give us 15 PQ equals to 125 minus 35. So from there, we'll be having 15 PQ equals to 90. Then we can divide both sides by 15. So PQ will be 16, it will be 6, which we can call another equation 7. Then also from equation 5 here, which we have P plus, P plus Q equals to 5. We can make P the sort of the formula. We can make P the sort of the formula there. So P will be equal to 5 minus Q, which we call equation 8 as well. Then we can now put this equation 8 into equation 7. That is, anywhere we see P, we can replace it with a 5 minus Q. So that means equation 7 will reduce to 5 minus Q into Q, then equals to 6. Then if you open the bracket, Q will multiply 5, that will give 5 Q. Then if Q multiply minus Q, that give up minus Q square equals to 6. Then from there also, we can uh, collect like times by taking everything here. And this become, this side becomes 0. So that means you have a Q square minus 5Q plus 6 equals to 0. And this is a quadratic equation in terms of Q. So if you solve this quadratic equation, then we'll get two values for a value of our Q. Then you can solve that using any method you know whether Early, uh, with whether it's a factorization method or completing the square method or formula method, but this can be fa you can be solved by using factorization method. So if you if you can pause the video and try to solve this quadratic equation, then when you now you are done solving, you can compare it with the answer we get here. So after solving the quadratic equation, get our Q to be two and our Q to be three. Now that we know the value of our Q, we can find the value of our P. Because from in, from equation uh, eight here we said p is equal to five minus q. So when our q is at, uh, our q is two here, we can find value of our p. 
so when q is 2 then put uh, 2 here that means you have p is equal to 5 minus 2 equals to 3 then when q is also 3 you can also put that here as well that means you have p is equal to minus uh, 5 minus 3 and that will give us 2 so we know the value of our p and our q that we invented before we are the one who invented p and q into the equation so that we can solve it so the value of our p and q at uh, two values p have two values q also have two value which i put in coordinate form so p is three or two q is two or three as well so now that we know the value of our p and q we can go back and find the value of our x and y don't forget that what you are looking for in the equation given to us so let's recall that uh, we have from the first slide we second slide rather we replace p to because of x is super one over four so now that we know the value of our p we know the value of our p to be three and two we can find the value of our x so p is equal to if you record that p is equal to s raised to power one over four then when p is three because we have already gotten p to be three before we can re return down here that we have three is equal to s raised to power one over four then we can take fourth of both sides that you can multiply you can take you can multiply the power of both sides by four you can multiply the power of both sides by four when i multiply this three uh, the power of three by four that means three raised to power four equals so if i multiply this one over four by four four will take care of four that means i have s raised to power one left that means which is equal to x so that means three raised to power four is 81 so that means our x is 81 also when our p is equal to two as well replace two uh, these two by beast p by two so that means i have two is equal to x raised to power one over four then from there also i can the, how can i eliminate this raised to power one over four i can multiply the power of both sides by four also so i multiply the power of both sides by four that means i have two raised to power four equals to x because if four multiply one over four then i mean i have one letter which is x raised to power one the x raised to power one is x so two raised to power four is 16 so that means s is also 16 so s can either be 81 or s is 16. now that we know the value of our l let's go and find the value of our y don't forget we are looking for the value of x and y <coughs> from the initial question we are solving so and don't forget that we also call q to be our from the begin from the beginning as well we said our q is a uh, cost of y raised to power over five and we have already gotten the value of our q to be 2 and 3 as well. Let's go back and find the value of our y. So we said our q is equal to y raised to the power of our 5. So when our q is 2, that means replace this q with 2 here. That means you have a 2 is equal to y raised to the power of our 5. Then you can take the fifth of both sides. You can multiply the power of both sides by 5. So that means you'll be having a y because five multi uh, this multiply by five here that will be was five cancel five y is over one that means y then you have y raised to power y is equal to two raised to power five two raised to power five is 32 so that means our y is 32 when our q is also three as well we can find the value of our y so we have three is equal to y raised to power one over five multiply the power of both sides by five so y will be equal to three raised to power five and that give us two hundred and forty three so that means we can also put the because we have two values for x we have two values for y as well so we can put down in coordinate form as well when our s is 81 our y is 32 and when our y is s is uh, 16 now uh, when our s is 16 our y is uh, 243 so these are the two values for our x and y from the question we have to solve that means our s is either 81 and our s is 16 and our y is 32 our y is also what 243 we can confirm this you can check if this question is uh, if the answer is uh, uh correct or wrong so when our s is 81 and our y is 32 let's go back to the beginning s is 81 y is 32 so s is 81 what is uh, uh the fourth root of 81 that will give us three because if you put your 81 here that means 81 is to power 1 over 4 means the fourth root of 81 is a 3. Then our y is 32. What is the fifth root of 32? That is 2. So that means two, 3 plus 2 give us what? 5. So you can see that uh, that is correct. Even if you test for this as well, uh, the fourth root of 81 is, uh, uh, is 3. Then 3 raised to power 3 is uh, uh, 27. 
Then the fifth root of 32 is uh, five, uh, two, uh, two. 2 raised to power 3 is uh, 8. 8 plus uh, 27 will give us a uh, 35, which is also correct as well. So we can confirm that uh, the we are, what you have solved here is, uh, is correct. And uh, if you don't understand, you can, you can go back afresh and uh, start the video afresh to understand what you have done here. So thank you for watching. And uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please don't just watch the video. You can click on the subscribe button on the channel right now so that uh, you will be notified whenever we post video on this, uh, on this channel. You can like the video and share it if you like it. And as you do so, may the good Lord bless you. Thank you for watching.